Hello everybody. Okay, so in the same in the same way as the first video we are we was uh, talking about uh, we was talking about bloating. So in the first video we was talking about bloating related to an invisible illness called SIBO. So the second uh, illness that uh, maybe interfere with uh, maybe have the same symptom the same symptom of SIBO, it's called abdominophrenic dyspnea or abdominophrenic abdominophrenic dyspnea. So if you type this in Google, you find uh, you will find a lot of articles. But when I talk about uh, these illnesses in uh, these illnesses in my YouTube channel, you will be sure if you see one thousand doctor, no one will understand you. This is why I call this is why I call my YouTube channel Invisible Illnesses because it's really really hard to explain a bloating to a doctor. Doctors are blind today; they don't understand this type of illnesses. So the first video uh, we were talking about SIBO. Now we are focusing about abdominophrenic dyspnea, and we will do a conclusion. What is the uh, what is the difference between SIBO and uh, you will learn, you will understand this by the way you will understand it okay so we are looking now for the first picture first picture you understand in the first video we were talking just about stomach colon and the small intestine and we talk we talk uh, in the video that uh, SIBO is the bacteria that overgrows in the small intestine because of food poisoning and because of lot of things we cannot uh, see the past of everyone everyone maybe you eat something bad and you don't feel the food poisoning but you already have have this so in the small intestine there is lot of bacteria and you bloat Okay, now we focus on this illnesses, abdominophrenic dyspnea. So, in this first picture, we add the diaphragm. Diaphragm. Okay. So we will ask me what the role of the diaphragm, but it plays a big role in a big role in pushing all this down. So diaphragm liver, stomach, colon, and small intestine. This is a normal body that wake up in the morning and have a flat, flat stomach. Maybe even, even if you eat one meal or two, it will be okay. Maybe you will have some bloat here, some bloat, some pushing here in your belly button. It's okay. But this is the normal position of the diaphragm and the liver and stomach and colon and small intestine. So now, we have the two the two parts of it so when we eat a meal when we eat a meal in this first part normal one normal people not invisible people like us so normal people when they have when they eat meal sure they have a respiration they inspire uh, oxygen and carbon and everything in the in the earth so here it's the f the, the normal way uh, how the diaphragm work so here diaphragm ascend and relax so diaphragm ascend and relax it means that you are your diaphragm is going up to push the ear to push all gases that comes from your breath from your gas from your digestion to put it through your mouth and the abdominal wall muscles contract so the ear goes like this and the abdominal walls, wall muscles contract this is the normal people this is the normal people this is our hope for everyone but with people who have this abdominal frenetic dyspnea they have a trouble in the diaphragm they have dysfunction so diaphragm it's in the opposite of normal way the diaphragm will will 
push the liver, will push the liver, will push the stomach, and the stomach will push the big colon, and the big colon will push the small intestine, and you will have a big belly, and the abdominal wall will relax instead of squeezing, of contracting and pushing the diaphragm to go out to throw the ear it will the diaphragm will push all organs and we see in the first video when there is dysfunction when there is dysfunction when there is something that's not going good sure you will you will have trouble you will have trouble in the small intestine the colon imagine something push all your organs down your organs will not work properly especially the small intestine and the colon and automatically you bloat you feel bloated we are not talking about the simple bloat it is hard bloat you cannot sit down you cannot walk you stay you stay in the bed for all the day and you feel the same symptom like SIBO you feel the same symptom because when the diaphragm are not working are pushing all organs there is a bacteria overgrowth here so this is the strange thing so abdominophrenetic dysnergia is problem in the diaphragm that may cause SIBO and that may not cause SIBO so it is about uh, how you inspire okay how you inspire so it is about function problem not infection but if it is not treated you will sure get SIBO maybe you will get SIBO every day and if you fast you will get uh, you will be okay but if you don't treat your diaphragm if you don't do exercise if you don't see physical therapist and you explain your issue they will not understand and there is no scanner no MRI, no nothing that can show the diaphragm how it works and no doctor will understand your illnesses so be careful so in the first video we are talking about bloating the bloating for SIBO is not the same it's the same it's the same it's the same it's the same of abdominophrenetic dysnergia they are both of patient like this they are bloating and they are also having some trouble with constipation but the problem may be for abdominophrenetic dysnergia maybe the patient will will not be uh, the, the the results of the test of the breed test will not show positive for SIBO but m maybe he suffered from years from abdominophrenetic dysnergia so this is the second second uh, illness invisible illness misunderstood by doctors uh, and uh, who I know a lot of people who live with this uh, illness and really they they struggle years and years and years of eating a lot of pills and uh, you and eating a lot of pills and doing lots of low food map diets and all the problem come from their diaphragm. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye.